Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali and in this video we will learn some text functions which are available in Microsoft Excel. So let's get start this Excel workbook based on scenarios so that you can easily understand some of the Excel text functions. So let's get start. So we are starting with our first scenario where we need to join or concatenate three items. So let's get start equals to item 1 joining with the item 2 and then item 3 so if the answer is correct you can see that the good has been written or for example if I write a wrong solution if I make a wrong solution so try again has been written right so in the first scenario it says that join the contents of these three cells by using an M percent sign and we have successfully joined the three items. Let's go to the next example. In the next example, we are required to join the first name with the last name and a space in between. So let's get start. So the first name will join with a space because a space is a character. So we are putting it into an inverted commas. And then again, we are joining with the last name. So our sol solution is absolutely right. And it shows the good. Then we have a medium level query where we need to create a sentence something like this person is x year old so we have a list of names and their person's respective ages so we start with picking up a name and in every sentence space is space is constant so we have put it that in inverted commas then we will join with the age and again m percent sign space years old inverted comma close so we have successfully made two columns as a sentence case let's go to the next query in the next query we are required to join or combine the alphabets in such a way that when we create a logic it should pick every in every cell downwards in every row it should add a one letter so let's get start first we will call the alphabet A from C109 and from here we will create a logic that pick one alphabet from the left side join it with a space and again join it with whatever the in the above cell so this logic will definitely picks one alphabet every time from the left side whenever the formula goes downwards and it will definitely append the number of alphabets in each cell Next, we have again two columns, list of names and their respective date of birth. And we are required to convert in such a way that it should look like in a sentence. For example, the first sentence is John Smith was born on Wednesday, comma, January 4, comma, 1984, full stop. So how to do that? Let's start equals to, let's pick the name, which is in C131 m percent sign and inverted commas space was born on space inverted commas again because space was born on space is constant in each of the sentence so we have enclosed in inverted commas whereas uh, the things which are not constant like names and date of birth for that we will be using cell addresses now we have to join with a date but these are the short dates slash dates and we want in a different format so for doing that we we will use the text function so we will first pick the date from e131 that is the value function argument and now we are required to format this particular short date in such a way that it looks like uh, we need a full spelling of the day so we will write four times d comma space then we need full spelling for the month then we write four times m then we need the number of the day so one time d and then the year four times y and full stop inverted commas and bracket close okay so here we will put inverted commas as well okay so now our solution is absolutely correct and it shows the good as well right next we have another text functions and this time we need to basically uh, split or separate 
the numbers from the right side so we will be using the right function and we will place comma one because we just need one number of character from the right side super easy right then we have the left scenario where we need the alphabet from the left side so we will write equals to left bracket open then the in the text we define the cell address and we just need one number of character that's it next we have to use uh, basically the trim function why because uh, there might be some unnecessary spaces which cannot be seen by the naked eyes so we need to use trim function here what trim function does is it cleans the unnecessary spaces available at the end of this spelling or before or wherever it's unnecessary in the medium again one more query we need to extract the area code from these numbers so all the area codes are on the left side and they are of three characters so we will be using left function comma three and that's it we have extracted the area codes from the phone numbers the last query is that we you we need to use the trim and the right function combination in such a way that we need to ignore all the alphabets or all the special characters which are on the left side so first we will write equals to right function then trim function why trim function inside because it will first clean the unnecessary spaces if uh, in case in there so it will clean that and we move and then afterwards we need to move seven characters from the right side which will automatically ignore the eighth character from the right side or you can say the first character from the left side so we have easily extracted that particular solution so this is the exercise file which you can practice along after the video uh, for excel text functions thank you